Yeah, Hit me. Yeah, no, it's good. Okay, I'll go first. Um, so what sort of surprise you go from playing this role? Whether it's like what you've learned? Um, With Tamsin. You know, Tamsin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, feeling experience, life experience, the whole process of, you know, um, That's an, an easy question. What definitely surprised me the most was the fan response to Lost Girl because especially being in Canada, I was working on the show when Lost Girl came out and I had, I'd heard a lot about it because there was tons of press in Canada and I think every Canadian has heard of Lost Girl. But um, when, the minute that I, I started on the show and started getting all these tweets and, and just the, the activity and the really truthfully the, the love that comes from all the fans, it nothing could have prepared me for that and I I don't really know, it's such a unique experience, I don't know that I'll even have that again because it's just little things like even now, how many years has Lost World been finished and people still are so kind and supporting, you know, Nintendo, my charity or, you know, I, I tweet something about sloths and I show up here and I get all this sloth stuff and like, um, just, there's a real devotion uh, that I... You know, if we were to do Lost Girl again and someone new was to join, I, I couldn't even prepare them for it. And that was, like, the most wonderful surprise. Maya? Mm -hmm. So, uh, seeing that fan reaction to Tamsin, what has this experience at Clexicon been like where we're here celebrating queer characters across media? One of the things I think I was the most proud of with Lost Girl, um, because, you know, it's, like, there's lots of things I love about Lost Girl. Like, it was like going to summer camp. We <laughs> literally would go to work and be like, can't believe we're getting paid to do this. Like, this is like, you know, you feel like you like stole something from someone or whatever, you know, like we're gonna get found out. But like, um, but, and Tamsin was so much fun to play and it was sort of my first avenue into physical comedy, which I love. But the thing I think we were all the most proud of was what Lost Girl stood for. And it was really, in my mind, one of the first shows that never, I mean, Emily said it yesterday, never labeled anyone. And, and I think the minute you label something, you make a deal out of it, you know? And, and it shouldn't be. It's just, you're gay, you're straight, like, whatever you fall into, that's who you are. And that's okay. And I loved that about Lost Girl. I loved that about Tamsin. She loved Dyson. She loved Bo. But she wasn't, or she's a lesbian, or she's bi, or she, she was just handsome. And yeah, I, to this day, it's like a legacy that I'm, I'm so proud of. And especially with, with the climate and, and how I think LGBT characters are treated in other shows, um, which obviously is a hot topic here, and you all know, uh, to be a part of a show that didn't do that is like, yeah, go last girl. <laughs> How was it going from playing Tamsin to going into a ring? Oh my gosh, it was hell. <laughs> I know you mentioned last night, like the eye roll and stuff. Like, were there other things? Like, the eye roll, the corsets? Because I'm, honestly, I went for playing a character who they, the writers would literally write into the script, Tamsin stuffs a donut in her face. <laughs> and, and I was like, this is the best part ever, you know? Like, I remember there's a scene in the cop shop where uh, I'm, it's in the fourth season. It's the very beginning of the fourth season. I'm doing the scene with Dyson, and I'm stuffing a donut in my face. And they got me my favorite sprinkled donut, and I was like, oh my gosh, jackpot. And then the first, like, five takes were really fun, and then, like, by the, like, 11th take, I was like, oh, like this. And then like, by the 20th take, I was like, I, I need to spit this out. I can't eat more donuts. Um, but then going and having a corset, and just, like, literally, like, having a sip of coffee and being like, Oh my gosh! <laughs> so that was a big transition, um, but actually quite wonderful because I really one of the things that I am intentional about in my career is to always try and chameleon into different people and different characters. And as much as I loved Tamsin and the whole sci-fi world, I really wanted to do something completely different. And you really can't get more different than that, <laughs> yeah. you know. So. Um, so yeah, it was a tough transition, but it was it was sort of a growing edge for me as an actor, and I, I really was grateful for that opportunity. One more question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. Whoa. Way back. <laughs> Were you aware of how big of a deal Bridget Fred 
I was in the Lesbian community? Do you know how much self text and fan fiction there was? I have no idea. I have, but I like really didn't have any idea about anything back then. <laughs> like I, I laugh about it now because people are like, oh, you know, you played that character so convincingly of Dinah, and she's this small town girl in a big city, and I'm like, no, that was actually just me. Like I had never been to Los Angeles. I'd never really worked that much, and I find myself sitting in front of all the Warner Brothers executives and them saying, welcome to the WB, which I had been such a huge fan of, like, Buffy, oh my gosh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer was my life, and Dawson's Creek, and Seventh Heaven, and all those shows that were so epic at the time on the WB, and then here I am, you know, at the upfronts with Sarah Michelle Gellar, and I feel like, what is my life right now? <laughs> and so that was, that was such a sort of life imitating art or imitating life. Um, it was only after, and I, I, that I think I saw, A, how ahead of its time it was in terms of a tone of a show. Um, I think Arrow has done it since then, and I often, you know, Ash, Dina, and I always sort of say, like, oh, if the show was 10 years later, it would have been a massive success. And also just how cool it was that there were three women. So I, I was aware of that at the time, but... Um, no, I think that was much later. Than that. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> um, you can ask me, honestly, like, two more questions if you want. That's okay. <laughs> so, what are you just, like, looking forward to in your career next? Because we know Brain, it's, it's within eventually, and stuff. it's been a great run. So, anything in the future you're looking forward to? Or just no courses? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm looking forward to no courses. Um, no, I actually will really miss those presses. Like, going into wardrobe fittings was a treat like it was like every time I, I thought oh they can't outdo themselves and then Meredith the costume designer would bring in something else and I'd be like oh this is so pretty um so I'd be the ultimate girl you know I uh, I would again I'd just like to do something completely different so actually though Tam's in I loved the comp the comedic aspect of her and my favorite actress of all time was Lucille Ball I think I learned a lot from her. Um, I think I've brought a lot of her into Tamsin, and the breach face and all of that is an ode to her. I would love to do some more comedy. Um, or I'd like to do something where I just look like shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where like, I'm just like a complete wreck. That would be really fun. <laughs> okay. More comedy. Yes. <laughs> Did, um, did Tamsin um, give you something for your life? Like, did you take something from the character for your life? Absolutely. Tamsin... Tamsin, to me, she was so raw and honest. And I think especially in this business where um, a lot of it is about putting on a public persona or a front and work, and in the world being what society wants you to be, um, Tamsin was none of that. She was just who she was, and she didn't apologize for it, and she messed up a lot, but there was a real sincerity to her that, um, and ultimately a kindness that I admired her for, and uh, hope that I can 